All right, folks, I have a couple of things. I've got two videos I'll do here. This is going to be a fun one. The uh, Check M8, the Trask one. But not what I'm doing today. These are the Rizoma HD. Let's read the thing here. But these are some fancy, uh, some fancy mirrors that I'm going to try to put on that have a little bit more adjustability to them. Oh. One of the things that happened, if you go back, you'll see I've got a a, uh, a video on these one finger grips on my channel, but it changed the, unlike over here, you see on this side with these grips, it still kept the mirror in the stock spot here. So you know, these don't go out as far as I would like them to. It's a little hard for me to, to see. But one of the things that happened when I replaced these grips is that piece here went away and this, took over and so it's not this mirror on this side doesn't go out as far it's actually in it, uh, stock I think with the stock setup it actually went out about this far and so it's hard to see without the bike kind of sitting upright and I just rode it so I gotta be careful here um, but kind of here's the the stock setup here and I, it's really hard to tell kind of looking at this but you can see that this mirror stock wise was, you know, probably out to here or something like that. So it got moved in a little bit. And so I have a hard time. I mean, from my view, I mean, there's no way for me to be able to like show you exactly, but from my view, I can just kind of see over my, over my shoulder, you know, like right here. And, um, if that even makes sense, but I can just basically see over my shoulder, and I just wanted it to go out a little bit wider and be able to see a little bit more if I can get a little bit more over, if I can get the mirror out a little wider so that I can see a little bit more over my shoulder so I can actually sort of see what's kind of behind me and get a better peripheral view, that would be fantastic. So let's get these things unboxed and I'll kind of sit right here and I'll put the, put the mirrors up and give you a perspective over stock, even though this side's not exactly stock. Um, give you a perspective of kind of what that looks like all right so let me try to kind of on the left hand side here let me try to give you and again this isn't quite stock so it probably would come out about the same distance as stock i would think um and then if you look at the mirror in the front it's a little smaller but one of the things that you could, could I'm gonna drop this thing before I even. It's a it's a little smaller, but one of the things that you can see, I don't know if you can or not, but there's like a a little line on the edge, kind of in this spot right right around this little area right here, and it gets a little it gets a little wider out there. Now the other thing that's cool is that you've got adjustability right here, where on stock you don't, so you can see the stock. Uh, in front and then on this one back here you can see in the middle part there you've got some adjustability so you can move the mirror uh, up and down surface area wise they kind of look the same um, the the this mirror's got a little different you can almost kind of see it in the video here it's got a little different sort of hue to it or something so it's clearer that's for sure than the stock mirror so let me let me show the other side. All right, this is probably going to be a litter, little bit better to compare it to stock. So that's going to be on that passenger mirror. That's going to be your difference from stock. And again, down here you've got that adjustability, so you can actually bring bring it, you know, bring the arm up and down. But if I line them up back here to where it's about the same you can see just kind of the differences as to how those mirrors are going to line up and how it's going to be a little bit different so it is a little further outside than the stock and again just the color of the mirror is a little different it's definitely clear like when you look into it it's a clear sort of darker and a little clearer but anyway let's get these things installed and uh, we'll take a look at them and the adjustability for them all right, so I don't have them completely, <clears throat> excuse me.
completely tightened down so I can adjust them. <clears throat> and I don't know if you can see on here if the thing shows up, but there's a like a line that goes right here. And of course there's the text at the bottom that says the objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. And so when they come in the, you'll have to sort of manipulate them around, right? So the thing moves and this thing rotates this mirror, which is also really cool, right? So you could actually get it up real high like that if you wanted it. You could get it out as low as you wanted it. Um, you know, this is, this is pretty stiff. So yeah, you wouldn't really have to worry about this moving too much as is this. And there's, there are, there is a screw here to adjust. And then you've got a little, in the end here, you've got a little Allen key that you can use to tighten it down. So when you get everything exactly where you want it, you can obviously tighten it down. This is a half inch socket right here. And then I don't know what size that is. It looks like it's a, what is that? I can't tell by looking at it. it feels like it's a Torx, I guess, or a hex, probably a hex. And then an Allen key over here. Same thing over on this side. Let's see if I sit on the bike here. Kind of give you a little idea of what it looks like on the bike if I straighten these up here. So again, you can kind of move them down, move it back a little bit, get it back over your shoulder. Yeah, so I know you got you can't see it in the mirror, but this edge out here has got a little bit, it's almost like a when you're halt, like if you got a trailer mirror. It's got a little more magnification out here, so it kind of makes it a little bit wider. And that's how you'll know when you install them that this is the one on the left and this is the one on the right. So you got you got a lot of uh, a lot of adjustability there. And again, this thing moves up and down. It moves out. The mirror will actually move out too. So the arm, you know, moves. Obviously, you can get that in a spot. Uh, I'm a huge fan. I think these are going to be definitely better than stock. They're they're expensive. I think it was like 300 something bucks for these things. Um, but the look is pretty cool too. Um, so there's that. But I was mainly looking to try to find something that had a little bit longer of an arm here to compensate for for these one finger grips. And I think that's gonna I think that's gonna get me there. This little piece here is gonna help out a bunch. So anyway, I hope this is helpful. I didn't find a video on YouTube about these things or comparing them to stock. So. I figured I'd put one up and hopefully this is uh, this is helpful for some folks.